welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Aisha and today we're going to go through what I got for Christmas 2023. So it's actually the 28th of December today. I have taken a good long chunk break away from my phone, YouTube, everything. I have just really been soaking in all of the festivities with my lovely friends and family. We got up to so much over. <laughs> We've been up to so much the last couple of days. We had a lovely meal and we went to see a movie on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. I spent with my mum's family Boxing Day. We did our usual Christmas shopping with my sister, which I will have a haul for, which is exciting. The day after, which was yesterday, we went on a road trip because Jay's family are from another part of the country. So we headed down there to see Jay's side of the family. Today we have my sister and her girlfriend coming over for Christmas games because we never got to see her girlfriend on Christmas day so they're coming today. It's all happening, I've had like four Christmas dinners, I'm going to be full probably until the end of the year at this point. But I've had so much fun, so much laughter and love with my family. I hope you guys did too, whatever you got up to. But I'm so excited to be back chatting to you guys. So today we have my what I got for Christmas. So if you watched, if you've been with me for a little while, I did do this last year exactly on the 28th, which is absolutely crazy. So it's been a year. So I just thought I would do a similar style video and everything that I said in that video still sounds. My family treated me so well this Christmas um, and Jay's family and my friends and everyone was so, so lovely and so kind with their gifts and I appreciate every single thing that I was given. Every single pence that was spent on me is so much appreciated. I just picked some items that were relevant to my channel and relevant to what I talked to you guys about. And also I love watching video ideas of like what people got for their birthdays at certain ages or Christmas or whatever just to give myself some ideas for when I'm shopping for other people. It's just also a really nice thing for me to look back on. Last night me and Jay watched last year's and it was crazy when I said I filmed it on the 28th which I thought wow I'm gonna do it on the same day. And then nice to look back and see everything that I got and everything I was into at the time and then how things have changed and whatever. Um, it was also funny that I mentioned in that video that my family didn't know about my channel and now they do. I also mentioned that I was about to hit 250 subscribers and recently I hit the 700 subscriber milestone which is crazy. So we have literally trebled in a year. I have absolutely smashed my yearly goals. So I'm going to talk through all of my goals and my my goals, my YouTube goals, my fragrance goals, collection goals, everything. I'm going to do a little 2023 roundup. I'm also going to have my Boxing Day sales haul. I have some Lush and Body Shop to show. Also empties and Project User Up at the end of the month. So that's everything that's coming. But yeah, let's jump into everything I got. I kind of sectioned it similar to how I sectioned it last time. And yeah, I'm just going to show you guys again. No, no intention of bragging. I just, I love watching these type of videos. So I thought I would make one. So first section we have is a couple of candles. So we'll go through these. So my friends know me so well. One did me this sand and fog inspired on the California coast, California beach house made with natural essential oils. And it is in this beautiful pink glass jar with the lid that says be the good. I think it's so sweet. It matches the theme in my room, which is mostly pinks. Um, and it's just so sweet and positive. A two wick style and the lid does tell you a little bit more about like the company and things um, and how it's all made. Like I say, it's a two wick style and this just smells like vanilla -y beach vibes, like a vanilla kind of perfuminess. There's a bit of a freshness in there. It's really nice. It kind of smells like vanilla milkshake. A little bit, but then there's, there's, there's more to it. But yeah, this is so sweet, very me. Then we, from another friend, we have the Wickford & Co Glass Candle Gift Set. This has six different candles in there. We have gingerbread, fresh vanilla, mulled wine, warm apple and cinnamon, cherry bakewell and evergreen forest. So I'm so excited about these. I love getting to try all different scents in a smaller size and then going on to buy the larger. We have had the gingerbread from this brand and also the warm apple and cinnamon and they were both great. I think we've had the mulled wine in wax melt. I'm really excited to try the evergreen forest and the cherry bakewell. I, I have been loving a cherry scent recently and yeah you guys know I love my pine so this is super cute as well. And then JJ's sister picked me out a Yankee candle which was so kind. She knows me very well. Um, this is the A Calm and Quiet Place scent. I have sniffed this in their stores before and really liked it. At the time we wanted to pick up a Christmas themed candle but yeah it was like she kind of read my mind like she knew I like this this is really different it's out of my salt realm but I really enjoy it it's like a kind of masculine laundry scent but it's not too powdery at all it's really fresh 
it's just got this really nice lightness to it. I'm sure it'll still be strong, it's a Yankee, they're always strong, but it just has this really rounded, masculine, laundry, fresh, slightly vanilla -y. It just, yeah, it kind of just is the picture, just being like really relaxed with a candle in like a nice, lightly scented room with a cozy blanket by the window or by the fire. It just smells really great. I think this will be a perfect January candle once we've done a good deep cleanse around here. <laughs> Is anyone else excited to get rid of their Christmas decorations? Because I am, because I just want to clean. Anyway, <laughs> so another friend who knows me very well picked me up some wax melts and I've not tried these, tried these yet, so I'm really excited. These are the Superdrug Layering Lab Collection. So these are, okay, I'm gonna correct myself or you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these are perfume inspired scents, like scents that are already on the market and they're kind of dupes. They're also the layer in lab collection, when you, it says use individually or mix two fragrances for a unique scent which is really fun. So this is the Paradise, it's tangerine green tea and vanilla. This is so good. It smells like something I've smelled before, that's why I'm kind of thinking they're all dupes. But you definitely get the green tea and the tangerine gives it a freshness. This is very much like a bedroom bathroom type scent to me. It smells so good. Um, then we have Blossom, which is fresh rose and jasmine. I'm not usually a rose type person, but this is really balanced with the jasmine. And this smells like a perfume that one of my family members wear. wears. I don't know which one specifically, but again, it's making me think these are dupes. We have the exotic, which is orange blossom and night jasmine. So another jasmine one could maybe mix these two together. This smells like um, the Dove pink bar soap. It was so fresh and clean and then we have sorbet which is peach sorbet plum and raspberries which is very similar to the scents to the fragrance notes of love spell and it does sort of have a love spell type scent to it these are these are not the strongest in the packets but we'll see on warm but yeah this is kind of like if you mixed love spell with like a jam note like that kind of like plum raspberry note it's good I'm really excited to try those. Okay, we're gonna take a jump from the scent. I'm gonna move on to the book section. Okay, so if you guys can see, my to read shelf is getting a little bit crazy and it's about to get crazier. But yeah, I think last time I kind of grouped like books and cozy things together. So I'm gonna go down that train again. These are the 509 of the Bridgerton series, you guys. I love the Bridgerton series. I love the books. I love the TV program. I think Julia Quinn is an incredible writer. I have got books one to four. A couple of them up there, but I have been lending them out to friends to read because these are really hard to find books for a good deal. They retail for about £10 each, but if you can get them in sets, they tend to be a lot cheaper cheaper so my nan picked me out five to nine which is I have been looking for these honestly for so long I've read one and two then I'm gonna wait for the series to come out do four and then go back to three if you're a Bridget and lover it'll make sense but yeah my nan actually picked me out these up from Aldi so I think these were a really really great find I love these books I just love everything about them so these are just the original collection, but they do have the Netflix sticker on them. I also collect the Netflix titles where it has the like actors who play in the series. So I have one and two, and I'll obviously wait for Penelope's to come out to then get Penelope's um, cover. But yeah, I love these books. They are incredible. So I'm so excited to have these. These were a really great find for me. And um, I think they were about £5 each. So compared to the £10 each, um, it's a really great find. So thank you, Nan. And the other book that I have... Guys, this made me, this like really tear jerked me on Christmas. This was the one thing that got me. So this is the Office BFF book. Um, this was written by Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey who play Pam and Angela from the Office series. And it is based around their Office series everything, but it's come off the spin-off from their podcast. So I love The Office. I love a sitcom, but The Office is really kind of, always stuck with me as special to me. I watch it every single night. I know I'm not crazy. I watch it every single night before bed. Um, and my sister got me into the podcast. I listened to it on my drive to work and back. I kind of touched on this a little bit, but I, I suffer really badly with driving anxiety and I just hate driving, but I know I have to because I have to get myself to work and back. And listening to the podcast just kind of puts me in the frame of mind and like really helps me reduce my panic and things and it's kind of like they're just chatting along with me in the car and it sounds so crazy but I know there's people out there that relate to my um really bad driving anxiety so yeah they wrote a book 
and my sister picked me up this for Christmas so it really means a lot I feel like me and my sister are the office BFFs like we both love the office we both love the podcast we both love um Jenna and Angela and uh, yeah I was just really excited to get this and also it's my favorite color like I don't know obviously just a coincidence but guys look how beautiful the color inserts of this book is it's like the most beautiful blow I'm gonna take this to go get paint match <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this. It has all stories about the office. I'm just very excited to dig into this because I love everything office. So yeah, I love that one. Another great gift for me. Okay, let's jump on the cozy train. Well, actually, no, let's I just pop these at the top. These are so cute. So these are off Jay's mum and dad and these are the most beautiful earrings. I think these are such a good idea. So you can see they are these five stars and then the top star is where you'd actually pin it into the earring. I do actually have my ears pierced all the way up, but I get really severe ear pain and headaches from earrings and it's gotten so much worse over the years. So with these, I can just wear just the one, just the one bottom, and then I can flip them up to make it look like I have all of my piercings in, which is so cute. I love stars. Stars are very me. So really excited about these. And yeah, it just reduces that pain and like irritation, but it still looks like I'm wearing jewellery. So that's going to be fun. And then we have the cutest pair of pyjamas, you guys. I love pyjamas. Pyjamas I wear most of the time <laughs> I work from home, so I just love my comfies. So these are from George Asda, and these just say Sunday Snooze Day. They are pink and then red with the gold stars. And then the pants, so cute. They are green with stars on, and I just really like this pink and green combo. I think they're really cute. And last one on the comfy group is some slipper socks these are thermal slipper socks they have like the grippies on the bottom as well they have these really cute little bubbles at the top and they are bath and body works <laughs> my mum obviously knows me very very well i've got a couple of the bath and body works pajamas but she picked me out the slippers this time so these are really cute i'm excited to give these a go they have even like some little detailing with the bath and body works and the gold super cute and yeah, you can pick these up from Next. Next carries all of the Bath and Body Works, like pajamas and clothing items. Right, I'm gonna go one last, one last non-hygiene item and then we'll get into all the hygiene items. So last year I showed my, my trainers. I always get a pair of trainers for Christmas from someone. They're always on my PowerPoint. Actually, that's a good shout to mention here. So I do a PowerPoint every year. I've gotten older and I grew out of like the Santa lists and things. Um, I've modernized my Santa list and I will do a little PowerPoint. The PowerPoint will just have like pictures and links to things and then I usually send it around to like my mom and Jay and then they can pass it on any further and they'll just take off anything that they've already bought so no one's like double buying or anything. These were on the list with a couple of other shoes and then I just let people pick one so my mum did pick these out for me but kind of on my recommendation I, I like the white slim line night style and they brought out them in blue so yeah these are on my list absolutely love these these are so cute my favorite color they have the blue sole the blue tick they have the tongue and then they have the little loop to help you get them on which is honestly so good because I always break a nail when I'm putting shoes on these are like the I don't know what style these are do they say on the box yeah the Nike Court Bora Low Youth because I'm kid size five so I get kids shoes um but I love Nike I've mentioned this a couple of times but yeah they are made with recycled content and um, all of the packaging is recyclable and they don't come with any of like the silly inserts with like the plastic or anything in the shoe the shoes just come as they are which I appreciate I love my Nike trainers I used to wear Air Force like pretty much exclusively but I've moved over to this like more low style they're a bit less chunky and yeah, so super excited about those. Love the blue. Okay, I was fibbing. I have one less item for the hygiene. This is just a channel item. <laughs> you guys, if again, if you watched last year's video, it's been a year. Jay got me my camera for Christmas last year. It came with my camera. It came with just like a generic tri tripod, charger, bag, and like SD cards or whatever. So I've slowly been um, upgrading stuff like the SD card. And the bag, every, just slowly swapping things out. So yeah, I thought it was about time I updated my tripod. So this is the Mini Universal Table Tripod with Grip. Um, I think it was just from Amazon by this brand. I don't know how to say that, but it's just it's just a bit of a more fancy tripod. So the camera goes screws onto the top. You can also get an attachment so you can screw your phone into there as well. It has a spirit level bubble so I can see if it's level. My camera does have an auto level like thing on it itself but if the tripod is wonky the camera can't fix that obviously um but it does its best 
you use the spirit level, check its level, and then you lock it in place. This has like a really much wider grip than the one I've got at the minute. The one I've got at the minute is probably about the width of just one of these. So I found that when I'm vlogging, it gets really flimsy. My arm gets a little bit sore. So having a chunkier tripod to hold on to, I think will make it a lot easier. The one I've got at the minute is very compact and small, and you can wiggle the legs, which is good for some things, like getting awkward angles, but for getting it to stay steady for a long period of time, it doesn't like um it's also really hard to get the same angle twice whereas with this i know i'm getting the same angle if that makes sense so i think this would be really great for travel as well so i'm really happy about this i am going to try and look into getting some sort of camera or phone stabilizer because i do you know vlogging is hard with the wobbling but i don't vlog too much i am more of a stationary youtuber if that makes sense i'm, I'm excited about that okay <laughs> now let's get into the hygiene portion so you guys again if you watched last year's i'm sorry i just feel like i'm repeating myself my mom does me and my sister like a hamper every year where she puts in a load of goodies everything that we need throughout the next year i suppose all the things that we love and some new things to try as well it's just that and then she does a chocolate one as well but i'll go through everything that she popped into my hamper so we have my hair mask my garnier repair and hair mask i've literally just finished this up last night so Yep, this was on my list for a new one. I love this hair mask. It's my favourite that I've ever tried, pretty much. Okay, and then we have another favourite, my Dove Passion Fruit deodorant. She managed to find them in the shops. <laughs> love that deodorant, can't go wrong. My face wash, she picked me out too. This is the Nivea Wash Gel, um, the blue one. Yep, I use this every day. We have my Elvive Extraordinary Oil Hair Oil in the large pump, which is so excited about these last ages. Ran out of this recently, so perfect timing. I was in one of them when I was like using everything up, but I knew that my mum would do us this hamper at Christmas, so I didn't want to buy anything. So I've literally been like down to like this much on like my face wash, my hair mask, my hair oil. I'm so excited to have new bottles. We have some little makeup. We have my brow gel. It is the collection Colour Lash just in clear. And then my favourite mascara. I don't have any mascara on today because my skin has been so irritated from all the makeup I've been wearing over Christmas. But uh, yeah, it's about time I swap out my mascara as well. So I have the Maybelline Lash Sky High. Honestly, I know this is like really overhyped on the internet, but it's kind of worth the overhype because it's so good. We have something new for me to try. Um, this was, um, I did pop this within my list of things. I popped in a kale gel. So this is the Naughty 97% Natural Hay Kale Scrunching Jelly for wavy and curly hair. I've really wanted to try its new textures for my hair. I have, I have a mousse that I use. I have a leave-in conditioner that I kind of scrunch in, but I've never tried a scrunching jelly, and I think it's about time because the mousse doesn't have the best hold on my hair, so I think it needs more. Like I washed my hair last night, and it's kind of starting to frizz after I've like lay on it overnight and everything. Actually, another thing I didn't bring up to mention was my mom got me some silk pillows as well, so hopefully that will help with my hair as well, um, because I get really bad frizz overnight. But yeah, this is just something I thought I would give a try. I really want to get my hair routine down next year because I'm thinking of doing something drastic with it so I really want to look after it then we have of shower gels from Bath and Body Works shower gels we have the champagne toast in the faceted she's so cute I love champagne toast she's one of my favorites I use the spray when we're in Florida and every time I spell it, it reminds me of Florida. So this is such good memories and it's such a great scent as well. And then we have a winter peach marshmallow. I made this up um, throughout the year in the sale and then I just said just wrap it up for Christmas. It's fine. So I knew this was coming. Really excited to open this up soon. There's a notes of velvet, peach, vanilla, meringue and creamy jasmine. So nice. The cream is in my project at the minute, so I probably will throw the shower gel straight in there as well. Last kind of thing to mention is the perfume. So I did ask for the Ariana Grande Mod Blush. I'd spelt, smelt this in store and really fell in love with it. I'm not a massive Ariana Grande fan, but I know her perfumes are so popular in the hygiene world. Like Cloud just wasn't quite for me, it's too sweet. But I really enjoyed this Mod Blush. It comes in this cute fancy bottle. This has notes of like raspberry and then a load of other things. <laughs> I know the original is like the mod vanilla but this has like the raspberry note that really sweetens it up. On my skin I sprayed this on Christmas morning and on my skin I get a raspberry and then a slight bergamot type note in the back so it's not quite as sweet on my skin 
but really nice combo that I'm going to do with this. I bought another perfume on Boxing Day that I think are going to blend really, really well together. I really like the balance of this, of like the sweet and the herb. I thought it would be a really nice spring perfume. I don't know. I just want to try something new and different. You guys know recently I've really been getting, pushing myself out of my self boundaries and just trying new things. So I thought that was a great balance of the raspberry but with other notes. So yeah, happy with that one. So that is everything that I wanted to come on and chat to you guys about. Again, no bragging intended. Again, no disrespect to my family. I'm not playing favourite here. If there's a present you got me and I haven't shown it, it wasn't because I didn't love it. It's just because I got so many good things to chat to that I just had to pick out a couple of them all related to my channel. I got loads of amazing other things from my family, which I'm so grateful about. Um, and everyone yeah, put so much love and care into my presence this year and I really appreciate that. That is, yeah, so that's everything I wanted to chat to you today. Like I said, I'll have my Boxing Day haul coming up too. My project use up my empties and my 2023 round out i hope you all have a lovely christmas whatever you got up to thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye